Top 10 Tips for Bunker Alpha Number 10. Use Range When entering and clearing this corridor, or when you were faced with a large group of zombies, so long as they are only 20 HP, use a long range weapon, just hit them, take a step back, and then hit them, take a step back. Number 9. Critical Hits you need to get as many critical hits as you can while going through the bunker or you will very quickly run out of weapons. Every time you face a big guy, always crouch, sneak up behind them and get the critical hit. He only has 15 health left, so you're best to just take a step away and equip a cheaper melee weapon. Number 8. Fenced Zombies when you have a fence or a door, but you can see over it and there's another zombie behind it, try and use a bow. You can hit the zombie through the door. This saves you your HP as you can kill him, but he can't touch you. Number seven, double teamed. When you are faced with two big guys or more, it can be extremely painful with them dealing a lot of damage. When you attack one, they will all trigger now if you hit the auto button. It will lock onto the latest zombie to hit you that's not what you want. Number six, embrace your inner Katniss Everdeen. There are many giants in the bunker and because most of them drop red coupons, you need to kill them all. Do not feel if you are a new player that you need to use guns to kill these. As you can see, I don't use a single firearm. Every single giant can be killed with the bow. I always say try not to panic when they are chasing you as you actually have quite a bit of time before he gets to you. Most of my hits do 18 or 19 damage. Don't be scared to hold onto the bow for a few seconds to get the extra one or two hit points. Number five, bow durability. As with the giants, do not feel that you need a gun to defeat the turret. Also, do not walk up to the turret to try and figure out how far away you need to be. As soon as you see at the top of your screen the word turret, you are in range. Just hit the fire button on your bow now. The tip here is you can see my bow only has 25% durability. Make sure you are paying attention to your game, especially when using bows against turrets. I'm going to give you an example of what happens if you're not paying attention, if your bow breaks and you press what would be the fire button, but is now the punch button. As you can see, your guy runs at the turret and tries to punch it. The turret is now in range of you and now you're dead. Number four, caged runners. Behind this door, there are two giants. As you can see, one is behind the cage. Shoot this one through the cage. You don't have to worry about triggering the other one. Please also take note of the mini-map. You will see that the giant behind the cage actually has a bigger icon. This means if you were to kill the smaller icon and then open the door, this bigger icon giant is one that will run at you. So just do not open that door. Number three, across the pond. You can take out this giant without opening the door in front of him. You can shoot across this water. This makes it so much easier for you as you can take him out with ease with the bow without having to worry about where you're walking. And this is also great practice for you with the bow. Number two, game manipulation. Use the elevator to your advantage. If you crouch, you can get the critical sneak attack hit on one of these guys, then immediately run away. Exit the floor as soon as you re-enter, crouch again, and do the exact same thing. This allows you to get multiple critical hits, saving you a huge amount of durability on your weapons. I only really do it with these two guys, but you can do it with any of the big zombies. It just means you have to dedicate a little more time to entering and exiting the floor. Number one, deadly doors. Do not open this door. Behind it is a giant. He is a very fast giant. He will run at you when you trigger him and realistically, you will need a gun to kill him. You can kill him with the bow, but it will take you a long time 
and you'll have to run around the level many times, so in my opinion, just do not open this door. Hope that helps, and do not forget about this week's giveaway. Check the description below for how to win our weekly $25 App Store gift coupon. Do hit the like button, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for my daily videos. I will see you all tomorrow, as always, same time, same place. Good night!